Welcome back, sixth graders. Today we're going to be talking about planning for expository essays, but this time we're adding the A's and B's. We're going to go deeper into the planning of our essays by learning about adding A's and B's to our topic one, topic two, and topic three paragraphs. These A and B details will help us to write longer, more meaningful, better paragraphs. So let's look at the basic ITC outline we just learned about recently. If you'll remember, I stands for introductory paragraph, T1, T2, and T3 stand for topic one, topic two, and topic three paragraph, and the C stands for the closing paragraph. Now we will add A's and B's. These are your supporting details. These details will help us to write longer paragraphs that really paint the picture for our reader and make them understand exactly what we want them to know. Let's imagine that we have a writing prompt that says, think about a place that you have gone on a family vacation that you really enjoyed. Explain why this is a great vacation spot for other kids to visit. Now, first we need to think about this prompt. What keywords help us to know what type of essay we will write? If you remember, we read in our last lesson that if we see explain or inform or give information or tell what you learned or define in the prompt, that helps us to know that it's an expository or an informational essay. So if we look back at our prompt, we see that word explain, and that helps us to know that this is going to be an essay that we're going to write to share information. Now, if I think about this prompt, I'll start with my basic outline. And when I think of vacation spots, the one that jumps into my mind first is Disney World. I've been there a few times, and I would love to go back. I think this would be a great choice for my essay because I know a lot of details to describe this vacation spot and why it would be great for other kids to visit. When you're choosing your topics and your details, it needs to be something that you can really provide lots of details on. Like we talked about in our last lesson, in an expository essay, we're explaining or giving details or giving examples or describing. Even though I pick the location because it's my favorite vacation spot, I'm not arguing that it is better than another spot. I'm just telling about why this is my favorite spot. I'm giving information. In an argumentative essay, I would be arguing that Disney is better, a ve better vacation spot than, say, Universal Studios. Can you see the difference? This will be an expository essay, even though I'm talking about my favorite location, because I'm not saying that it's better than something else. So I know I'll want to introduce my topic, Disney World, in my introductory paragraph, so that is what I'll put in the I spot in my plan. Because I know I'll want to wrap up my essay reviewing my topic, I'll put Disney World in my C or closing paragraph spot as well. So now it's time to think about my topics to explain why this is my favorite vacation spot. Now there are lots of reasons, but three that really stand out to me if I think about it are all of the fun rides that there are to be experienced there. There's tons of really fun games to play. And I love the excitement of meeting the Disney characters and interacting with them. So now that I have my basic plan, now it's time to fill in my A and B details. Here's how A and B details work. We have rides as our first topic. Let's think. I need to come up with either two rides to tell my reader about or two types of rides that I like at Disney World. We will fill this in as our A's and B's next to rides. We want to explain the rides to our readers and make our essay interesting. 
When I think of Disney rides, I think of roller coasters that are exhilarating and that I really like to ride, just like the um, Seven Dwarfs Mine Ride. But I also really enjoy riding the water rides like Splash Mountain. I can use both of these for my A and B details. I can list roller coasters and water rides. I'll spend some time in my T1 paragraph talking about both of those. Now let's do the same thing for games. I really like to watch my sons walk around and scan the different locations they find to follow the sorcerer's magic. It's a game that you can play around Disney. So I'm going to list that as my A detail. My whole family also likes to play the Toy Story shooting game where you shoot the aliens as you ride through different scenes. So I'll talk about shooting games as my B detail. For my third topic, I listed the characters. One thing I always try to do is visit Cinderella's castle and have my photo taken with the different Disney princesses. It's always so fun to see the princesses. I'll use the castle princesses as my A detail. No trip to Disney World will be complete without getting in a visit with Mickey Mouse and having him sign my autograph book. So I'll list this ex exciting event as my B detail. Now, if I look back at my plan, I feel like I have a lot of good details to talk about that will really illustrate my point that this would be a super vacation spot for kids to visit. Every time you make a plan, stop and look at it and say, does this cover everything that I want to talk about in my essay? If it doesn't, you always have the possibility of writing a T4 paragraph, but because of time, usually we want to start just with the T1, T2, and T3, and then we can add on T4 after we finish our conclusion. We can squeeze it in there so that we make sure we get our essay complete. So now we're going to try one on our own. Let's read this prompt together. Most people have a favorite book. Think about your favorite book, or at least a book that you really enjoyed. Explain why this book is your favorite. On your own paper, make your ITC plan with A and B details and be ready to share it with a classmate. Here we go.